Hi, it's DIY with Fancy Nance, career talent agent turned DIY princess. Are you ready for some great DIY with Fancy Nance that includes some glitter? Then stay tuned. Hi, it's DIY with Fancy Nance, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very inexpensive, simple, really cool potpourri for your bathroom as an accent piece, which I've had and it's just super easy to make. I love to explain each thing step by step, so here's what you're gonna need, and here we go. So basically, you're gonna need a vase or vase, however you wanna say it, of your choice, of your choosing. I like the round shape of mine. You're gonna need some potpourri, which this is fake, and I bought it at Ross. Um, you can really buy it at Kmart. You could get it at uh, the dollar store when it's in season. Uh, the reason I like to use fake is because it will last for years and years the test of time. And so basically when you go in the bathroom, it's going to smell nice and it's not going to get rotten. So that's what you'll need. I have two decorative candles, which are optional, which I'm going to put um, next to it when we're done. I have some Christmas balls left over, which I took the little metal rings off of. So this is the sparkle part, which I always say I use glitter. Um, I thought that the red would accent the pink and the greens quite nicely. And I also took a fake rose petal for the top. You could use any flowers, fake flowers that you like, but I just think this actually blends very well together. And it's optional, but you're going to need your favorite perfume to make it smell amazing. And you probably only need to re-perfume it maybe once every couple months. I have my favorites here. Prada candy, mmm, love the smell like candy. Pink sugar, mmm, candy again. And if you want to be more floral, I've got Daisy by Marc Jacobs. So you can choose whichever one you would like. Um, just to give a shout out, I am a jewelry designer and although on camera, this ring photographs um, more of a yellow tone, it is a pink stone with diamonds uh, custom set around it that I had my jeweler make for me a little while ago. And my bracelets are real. I started collecting them in 2000 and uh, probably seven, one by one by one. And I built up my collection of diamond bangles. I don't wear them that often, but I thought for this fancy Nance video, it would be fun to show them off. Okay, so now we're gonna get started doing the real project for the potpourri. Here we go. In the bowl, I would spray the perfume, probably three or four sprays. I don't know, I'll use um, pink sugar right now. And I'm just gonna spray on the top, and then I'm gonna mix it with my hand. Here we go. And then I'm gonna spray again. A couple sprays, you're not wasting that much perfume. You could even use body spray. You don't have to spend money on expensive perfume <laughs> if you don't want to. <laughs> so I'm a big perfume person. That'll be in another video. And then one more spray. Oh, my guests are going to love me, huh? <laughs> Pink sugar all the way, baby. Okay, so now we're done spraying. It smells delicious, like I want to eat it. <laughs> but okay, let's continue with the project. So now here's what we're gonna do. This is so simple. Okay, we're gonna start putting the potpourri neatly, if we can, <laughs> into the vase, vase. Okay, and we're gonna fill it up about, I'm trying to keep the camera straight, sorry. I should have my selfie stick. Okay, we're gonna fill it up about, I don't know, halfway full, something like that, a little more than halfway full. Maybe even a little more than halfway full. You have to just start designing and see. And then you're gonna take the red balls and you're gonna kind of plop them in the vase, vase, flower container. <laughs> um, and then you're gonna put the rest of the potpourri, you can measure it out, on top. Okay. So basically, you want to fill it up. So I'm going to even it out and then come back. Okay, so you just want to make sure that the red uh, sparkle pot balls 
or whatever you're using to make it pop are showing out. Um, you could probably bury a little more potpourri on top. Um, I put the rose, the fake rose, on the very top. You could probably push it down a little bit more. You know, you can get creative with this. Um, I also wanted to make sure that the little uh, part from the Christmas balls were hiding so you don't really see that. And um, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job <laughs> of redoing my little uh, bathroom hack. So now let's put it in the bathroom and see how it looks. As I've shown before, my walls are painted gold with glitter. So that's most of my bathroom. I have a different video on that. And my accent walls are a French vanilla cream that I picked out. So basically I put it in the corner and I put the two candles next to the potpourri with the red balls and it makes a just beautiful accent piece for the corner of a marble bathroom. And uh, that's really it. It's so simple to jazz up an empty space and make it pop, as I say. So from Fancy Nance to you, go try it and have some fun. And I will see you soon. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, F-A-N-C-I-E-N-A-N-C, Fancy Nance, and let's have some fun. DIY with Fancy Nance. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Banter Entertainment, and we'll have a lot of fun.